How She Rolls, season two. Shh, quiet on set. We see a rush to grow and get into a new facility. And Carrie's always thinking about new ideas or new ways to do things. And we see Sarah's health problems. We see a lot of family, a lot of eating. I learned that I am actually braver than I thought I was. This year, I got my permit and I started driving with my mom. I leave in six days and I'm going to University of South Carolina. We see making different choices and having to go in another direction due to uh, loss of business and lifestyle choices and inflation affecting our business. Well, I mean, the way we do balance is it's 100% full throttle in any direction at any time. And we see family dynamics changing with Caroline going away to school. And did I mention eating and baking and biscuits? All right, let's talk about food. Ooh, yeah. What she could food eat. Is, food is the center of our, of our oh. existence. <laughs> I think food brings people together. Like, I'm not, I'm not a food person. Oh, I love food. Food is my favorite thing in the whole world. Oh, you must have to What's your favorite recipe that you can make this season? Oh my gosh. Brings our family together, brings friends together. I mean, no matter what, you can always sit down. There's always an excuse for you to get together with people. That is the one thing that I can do. And that is the one thing about my mother that is she only puts my feet in the Well, it's priority number one. Every person in this family thinks, Everyone. what are they going to eat? What's for dinner? What are we having? What What's coming up for dinner? We revolve around food in this house, basically. We cook a lot of food. You, quite literally, had to take work from home this year due to Sarah's health challenges. What did Biscuits Business and Balance look like over the last 12 months? I certainly put Sarah before anything else and our family before anything else. That Carrie's amazing. I mean, she constantly has to deal with new things that are happening. However, I was able to do my work from home. So I was able to attend to Sarah and work and you know, that was, Oh, that's a great luxury. She does it generally with grace and, um, you know, figures out a way and keeps going. I have to learn actually a lot about myself during filming. She definitely gets down sometimes, but overall she stays up and says, you know what, I gotta go do it. I've learned that I am actually braver than I thought I was and I'm stronger than I thought. Maybe it's time because I'm not really afraid anymore and maybe I can maybe inspire get some kids. Honestly, I never felt like I missed anything. I mean, we have a great team, so everybody uh, was really involved in picking up my slack, but that's the great thing about video meetings now is that you don't necessarily feel like you're far away and everybody understood or I hope they did. <laughs> what do you think your mom would do without Amy? Oh I think she, she would wouldn't survive. survive. <laughs> what would Carrie do without Amy? She would laugh dramatically less. Um well that's first and foremost. Amy's honestly like a second. She's my godmother so since they <laughs> Amy's the best. Amy is like a second mother who is just fun and I just, I love to be around Amy. She is hilarious. We all know that. <laughs> yeah, Amy is very, very, very important. My mom motivates me by pushing me to my limits and, um, <laughs> she's just great at that. She's plans there's a solution and that no matter what the problem we can always fix it if you just take time take a deep breath she motivates me to work harder and um, pursue my goals in life I can't have to work hard is going to be a great outcome and at the end of the day my mom no matter how hard she is she's really 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 hard work and she's always puts 